Hi, my name is Nate. I'm the programmer behind Spine, as well as dozens of open source projects, and the co-author of LibGDX. Last year, I teamed up with my artist friend Soren to build games. We both have a lot of experience with professional tools, but none are dedicated to 2D skeletal animation for games. This makes them expensive, clunky to use, and it's difficult to export the animation data. We had a vision of what we thought would be the perfect tool for 2D games, and Spine is the result. Animation in Spine is done by attaching images to a skeleton. Then the bones are animated and the images move with them. This has many benefits over traditional animation. First, art is often the hardest part of building a game. Using Spine means much less art is required. Creating animations becomes so fast and easy, even programmers can do it. Skeletal animations are very small because only the bone positions need to be stored. Games can easily have many hundreds of unique animations without taking up much space. Bones are interpolated between keyframes, so the animations are as smooth as the frame rate. Multiple animations can be blended together, for example, to transition smoothly from running to jumping. The skeleton can be manipulated procedurally based on game events, for example, the player could look toward the mouse position. Animating the skeleton is separate from the images that are attached. This allows animations to be reused when a character has different items equipped. Even characters that look completely different can use the same animations. However, Spine is not limited to only animating characters. Anything and everything can be animated. Power-ups, background objects, logos, UIs, cutscenes, explosions, and more. Spine makes it easy to bring an entire game to life without requiring additional art assets. Working with Spine starts in setup mode, where you create a skeleton and attach images to it. Next, animate mode is used to design your animations. First you pose your skeleton, then set keyframes to store the pose at that timeline position. You repeat this process for different timeline positions, and the skeleton automatically animates between keyframes. The dope sheet provides a multiple timeline view of the keyframes, allowing animations to be easily retimed and tweaked. The interpolation between keyframes can be customized using a graph. For example, movement can start slow and gradually become faster. This is essential for lifelike animation. Animations are applied relative to the setup pose. This allows the setup pose to be manipulated procedurally during gameplay. For example, if the player needs to look up when running, the setup pose could lean backward and the run animation would also lean backward. When your animations are finished, they can be exported for use in your games. You can export an AVI or QuickTime video or a sequence of images. However, the real advantage comes from exporting the animation data as JSON or binary. You can then load this data in your game and draw your animations just as they look in Spy. Spine currently has all the features necessary to use it in production, except for loading the data and using it in your games. For each game toolkit, we need to write a runtime library that loads the animation data and draws the animations. Currently, this is only done for libgdx, and this is where we need your help. We set out to build games, but instead, we've been working on Spine for many months. We would love to add Spine runtimes for Unity, Coco Studio, Corona, and others, but we also need to move on and build our own games. Funding this Kickstarter will allow us to postpone our games a little bit longer in order to add support for additional toolkits and enable Spine to be used in all kinds of games. With your help, we can build runtimes to match the same level of quality as the rest of Spine, and officially supported runtimes will be kept up to date as Spine evolves. You can download Spine right now and give it a try for Windows, Mac, and Linux. All of the most important features have been implemented, and we hope that this gives you confidence that we can deliver the runtimes that we promise. We hope you are as excited about using Spine in your games as we are.